I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing and building the Easy Build Stormcast Eternals Castigators with Griffhound, which is one of the Easy Build kits for Age of Sigmar. So I'm going to carefully open the box, uh, removing the plastic from the outside. And I'm going to just leave that open. So, inside the box you've got, okay, you've got transfers, so you've got transfers, uh, you've got the rules for the model in various languages, including Mandarin, uh, and Korean, and Japanese. So you've got these little cards come up to the instructions giving the rules uh, for both types of model in the box. You've also got step-by-step -step instructions for building things. So put that to one side. The tools I'll be using today are clippers, a craft knife and Tamiya polystyrene cement. So let's start having a look at this. So there's a little next steps leaflet. Uh, so all the easy build kits released so far, the rule book, the army books, and the uh, battlefield set. So I'll put that to one side. And then we've got two sets of sprues. So I'm going to zoom in on these so that we can have a good look. As you can see, the sprues have got scenic bases. Uh, they've also got multi-part kits for you to snap fit together. You've got three heads here, uh, one bare head, two helmeted heads. Uh, you've got again three body parts, half the griff hound, and three more scenic bases on this sprue. And again uh, you've got, these have got int integral feet, but the rest don't and these are very dynamically posed. So you've got uh, models with feet on uh, scenery. The Griff Hound is going to have the front two paws on here and the back two paws on here. So yeah, the level of detail is good, the moulding is good. You can see the detail on the sashes and on the uh, little objects. You can see the detail on the Griff Hound head here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate these from the sprue, I'm going to clean the mould lines off using this knife, uh, and I'll be back in a minute to assemble the models. I'm now ready to assemble the various models. I'll start with the leader model, who has a head that just drops into there like that. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of glue. You do not have to use glue at all putting these models together. I'm going to do so to get the best joins possible. Bang, that goes in. Then this comes on the front. So I'm going to put a dab of glue here on the peg. Doing so will soften the peg and make it easier for you to get it to go into the hole. I'm then going to put glue on the other surfaces where it will directly contact. So then line the peg up, pop it in, squeeze it as hard as you can. Uh, doing so will help prevent any joins being too visible when you paint them. So we've got a line here, but it's not hugely obvious. We've then got this shoulder pad here which is going to come like this. So again and soften the peg using a little bit of glue. So what I do, line it up 
and push it in. So that's this guy done. He just needs to drop into the base, like so. Uh, however, in order to paint him easier, I'm not going to glue him down on the legs yet. I'll leave that for when I've painted him, and it's to get to the cloak at the back. Uh, so you can see between the legs, if I pop him down there, I'm not going to be able to get to the cloak at the back. So that's one done. The next model, again, four pieces. Uh, I'm not going to stick them down to the scenic base. Uh, there's no foot part, so I can just leave that separate. So, and again, the head goes in here. So, a little bit of glue. There. In order to pop that in. So then, glue goes around there, the shoulder pads, and where that joins, there, the knee joint here, and then this gets pushed together like so. so push the shoulder pads together as hard as they'll go so that you don't get an obvious join or split there. This then goes on the front again a bit of glue, a bit of glue and a bit of glue on the peg and then you take this and pop that in there so that'll easily go into the scenic base, like so. I'm not going to stick that down until after the model's painted again to get to the cloak. The last of these figures. So, and again, I've got a head, and I'm going to glue that head into this bit here. So that goes there. I then need to glue this body piece onto here. So again, I line the shoulder pads up and press them together hard. And I look at making sure the body's pressed together hard. We've then got, again, that's going to go on like this, so, bit of glue to soften the end of that peg. And like so, and then this guy, again, isn't getting stuck down to the scenic base, but that's how the pose looks. One last model is the Griff Hound. So we've got the head, which I am going to stick in this bit here. like so, and then I'm going to take some glue and run that around the body. Then I'm going to put a bit of glue on both of these pegs to soften them. And again, push that model quite hard together. And you're doing so to prevent any join lines. So then you've got, again, an assembled model. 
and the scenic base they go on. So this is a quick side view. I'm going to separate this into two batches. So the Griff Hound is going to get undercoated white. Everything else is going to get undercoated black. I'm aware the plastic comes pre-coloured, but I will be painting these up, which is why I'm going to separate and undercoat them. So, my review of the set, it's really nice. Look at the poses, look at the level of dynamism. It is light years ahead of the easy to build sets that came out for the first edition of Age of Sigmar. This is a unit, this is a separate unit, so this is actually a really good expansion for the star set because suddenly you've got a griff hound for uh, preventing enemies deep striking or appearing next to you and it's its own unit. You've got a sergeant, you've got two archer guys who are again are the, their, their own unit. Uh, it's a nice little expansion and in terms of when they finally do a smaller star set this will definitely be in it because this is a complete this is two complete units. Uh, I was impressed with the instructions, they're very clear. I was impressed with the stats and information on them because they've got them in so many different languages. We have a set of transfers which are for all the easy build sets. So sequiturs, castigators, um, Lord Arcanum, engineers and you've got them in black and in white. I really like this set it's got a lot of character, the sculpts are very good and it is a £10 easy build set. It's great for people starting a Stormcast Force because of what you get in there. You don't necessarily need the six griff hounds you'd get in a set. But a couple of these that you've bought to bulk out your force will give you two griff hounds, which is probably all you'll need. Unless you want to go griff hound heavy in order to have lots of bird dog creatures in your army. Yeah, I like it. I'd recommend it to a new player. Uh, it's easy to put together. It comes pre-coloured so it's not plain. Definite solid buy if you're a Stormcast player. If you've liked this video, hit like or subscribe. If you feel strongly, leave a comment below. Otherwise, good gaming.